guys welcome back to another video i trust that you all are doing great now in today's video we're going to do stew black eyed peas with bulgur rice and beside it we're going to have a nice vegetable salad if you want to continue watching this video guys don't forget to give this video a thumbs up comment if you like it and subscribe to our channel let's get straight into this video now what i'm going to do is to pressure the black eyed peas i've been soaking it guys for around two days now that was not intentional at all i'll be adding some thyme leaf now to the pot here and my peas also some salt and you can pressure this until it's tender if you don't have a pressure cooker guys you can always soak your peas and just cook it regular um it will take a little time though but it will still cook right so we're just gonna leave that to cook for around 15 minutes all right guys so what we're going to do is to just shed the cabbage um small And we're keeping the vegetable pretty simple, guys. I think I'm just going to... Um, the dressing that I'm going to make first is just olive oil and some lime juice. Nothing fancy, nothing. We're just keeping it simple, right? We're also going to do some cucumbers. But the cucumbers, I'm just going to cut them in some um, circles. I like to add some of the onion. All right, guys, you're going to use the juice of one lime, some olive oil, and I'm using extra virgin. pepper you want to get everything distributed evenly in this salad right and remember you can always spruce up your salad guys to how you like it so if I use something that you don't like, you don't have to use it. If you have some other vegetables available that you want to use, kale or anything, you can add it in there, right? We're going to add the dressing now. And we can just rest this aside in the fridge. I really like how the lime, the lime juice kind of give the salad a nice fresh taste. And then the cucumbers will go right around. And there you have it guys a nice simple vegetable salad let's move over to the peas all right guys we're going to start with the bulgur now we're going to add around two cups of water 
or bulga and I've washed mine. Right here we have scallion, rosemary and thyme. Gonna go in with a teaspoon of garlic. Ginger. Salt. Bay leaf. And some pimento berries. And we can allow that to just steam up for a little while. Don't have to pay it no mind. You can taste your pot as well to see if the salt level is okay for you. And listen, you can cook up your bulga anyway, guys. I just prefer to do it this way today. What I did here was to punch the scotch bonnet pepper a little hole. That's because I want the flavor on the inside to come out, right? No, it's not going to be too spicy. It's just going to release the flavor. All right, so we're going to add it as well. I forgot that just now. And just cook. all right now that our peas has fully cooked to my liking what I'm going to do is to reserve the peas water we're going to use it a little later on so just give me a minute let me throw it off for our beans you're going to saute some um, scallion and vegetables no I'm using grapeseed oil you can use whatever oil you have available and of course you start with the garlic to release that nice aromatic our thyme ginger and scallion and our onions we're going to add in some coriander ground cumin a little bit more salt black pepper you can go in with two cups of the cooked beans Now I'm going to add in a few drops of Jamaican browning. If you don't have the Jamaican browning for color, you can use um, the mild soy sauce or you can burn the sugar in your pot. And now we're going to add in our reserved peas water. And you can let this cook all the way down. You know it's not ready to come off yet. I like when it's slow cooked. And you can remember you can taste your pot to see if it need anything else so we're just gonna let this cook down and then we get back to it all right guys let's take a look at our bulgur and you can see how nice and fluffy it is i never touch it not not just make it go on steam right um so i'd use two cups of bulgur to two and a third of a cup of um water all right guys like how everything is looking lovely what i'm going to do is to add a little bit of coconut milk just a little bit to just bring up that flavor and also our carrots sweet peppers and tomatoes Right, so a little bit more of the coconut milk don't want to use a lot to I don't want the coconut to overpower the other um, flavors like the cumin and the coriander so if is it that you think you want more liquid you can always go in with some of your reserved peas water that's why when I'm whenever I'm gonna do stews right I stew the peas i pressure the peas in a lot of water so if i need the, the water i can use it up right that is if you don't have any vegetable broth if you have vegetable broth or stock you can always add it in there for additional flavor so what we're going to do here is to give it an additional 10 minutes and then we return and guys if you realize i did not cover the pot because i find that it's steamed too much liquid and take forever to cook so what we're going to do here now if you don't like the consistency that it's at you can just crush some of the peas them right and the pea the crushed peas will kind of give you a nice gravy like consistency and this is it i like the texture now because you know when you turn off the flame and um you turn off the heat sorry and you put on the peas it ab start absorbing the liquid so this here is fine for me now see we are guys our nice vegetable slaw over here black eye pea and bulgur rice let me share out some because you know so you know it in go already me have to show no one and the bulgur is so fluffy I 
and there you have it guys our nice lovely dinner thank you so much guys for watching this video until next time bye